Well, it would go down in history as one of the worst distillery fires on record, ultimately eliminating 2% of the world's whiskey overnight. Tonight's dig into the WHAS 11 video archives takes us back to November 1996 and the fire at Heaven Hill. It started like any other day at the Heaven Hill distillery until disaster struck. A wooden warehouse went up in flames. Sky 11 raced to the scene. Fire seen from the sky as smoke billowed up above. Water did little in the fight against burning bourbon. And within minutes, the first warehouse was a total loss. First responders put their focus on the other buildings, but the flames were just too strong and the weather was worsening. WHAS 11 reporter George Sells was live at the scene, frantically calling Melissa Swan, who was back in the studio. Just having to stand back and watch them burn at this point. There's absolutely nothing they can do. And as this rain comes in and these heavy winds, they have to be blowing. They're gusting over 40 miles an hour down here. At least 10 departments joined in the fight to keep the fire contained, but wicked winds forced the firefighters to retreat. Unbelievable. I have never seen this much fire at any given time and the, just just one building going by itself and you've got four and five burning at one time. The fire was overwhelming even for the experts. Some left their gear behind running for their lives. It makes your heart start beating real fast when the pager goes off but then when you pull up and you see that amount of fire with the resources that we have you know that it's just it's a losing battle. And distillery workers were devastated. How hard is it to watch this as a guy who's put his whole it's life not, in place? It's not very much fun, believe me. But fortunate thing, we, all of our employees are safe. Everybody was evacuated from the distillery. No injuries. The fire burned long into the night and still smoldered the next morning. With daylight, we get our first real glimpse of the destruction. The scorched ground shows the path where flaming liquid bourbon rolled down the hill from the warehouses onto the distillery and other buildings. Those on the ground compared the aftermath to a war zone. Vehicles left behind by workers desperate to escape, melted tires and paint burned down to the metal, all that was left. As for the bourbon, tens of thousands of barrel rings that once held four million gallons of alcohol tell you all you need to know. But with no apparent leads, the same national response team that's investigated the Oklahoma City bombing and the crash of TWA Flight 800 is now headed to Kentucky. In the days that followed, federal investigators trying to determine a cause said the fire destroyed much of the evidence they needed. There's no indication that the fire was intentionally set. The fire cause now will be classified as undetermined due to the intensity of the heat. Seven warehouses burned to the ground. It was devastating, but not a total loss for Heaven Hill. 37 of the distillery's warehouses survived the fire, and the bourbon inside continued to age, aging for many more years before eventually being bottled and enjoyed across the world. In the 25 years since the fire, there have been major safety improvements made inside bourbon warehouses in an attempt to prevent a similar tragedy from ever happening again. If you enjoyed this weekly look back at Kentuckiana's most memorable moments, we have a lot more to share with you. Over the course of this year, we have covered more than 30 stories using video from our video archives. You can watch all of those stories right now on our website or on our YouTube page.